Hey everybody, welcome back to the Unusual Mall. Welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We are right on the cusp of going to the uh, the Divine Realm. Uh, we're working on the Dragon's Homecoming ending, and uh, you may be wondering why I'm in game already. I usually don't do that. Uh, I wanted to figure out how we were supposed to get the guy to fly the kite so we can try to kill the two serpents. And it's this skill right here, Ninjutsu. Uh, and I'll just run over that real quick. Yeah, so we had Blood Smoke. Uh, use it the same way, just hit right button right after you kill someone. And uh, that allows them to... Uh, puppet moves on behalf of its master, but its strings are destined to snap. Whatever that means. We're going to need to do that twice to get to both serpents in order to uh, finish the game here. I have to buy what's in the box. Yeah, anti-air blow text. Air blow? Uh, anyway, there was also something else. Um, I'm playing a second playthrough, and I just beat Genichiro uh, over the weekend. Uh, but I found something that I didn't didn't actually pick up before. I think it's on the outskirts. I'm certain I missed it, actually. We'll see here in a second. It's a prayer bead. Um, we were really close to finding it, but we kind of gave up uh, prematurely here. You guys may be wondering where One Off Monday is. Um, since Saturday, we're playing different games over on... And I'll talk about the Twitch channel later. Uh, we're playing different games on Saturday rather than just a one-off. Trying to do more community-focused based games. Uh, one-off Monday is going to go on hiatus so we can get through... Actually beat some of these games in a reasonable amount of time. Now then. Be I doubt you would want to meet a demon. Absolutely not. Uh, so we did climb up here. And I, I think I remember saying I'm certain there's something up here. But we gave up too soon, and I, ch I checked it out when I was playing the uh, my second playthrough. I'm doing the second playthrough to uh, finish up achievements, and uh, I'm trying to go for the Shura ending in that playthrough, and I'll probably uh, go up one more. I'll probably record that whenever I uh, manage to get that done. It's right in here. I'm certain we've missed other prayer beads along the way. In fact, I'm almost positive of it. Uh, and I'll have to figure that out at some point. Maybe in the second playthrough. There was a couple other things I found in the second playthrough that uh, I did not see the first time coming through here. I don't know how that's going to work out. Kid. Yeah, we got all this. Fine. So now the goal is to go kill the living serpent in the uh, Senpo, uh, Senpo Temple, Senpo Valley, Senpo Temple. Uh, so we can get the frozen tears to give to Kuru at the end. Need to go, yeah, probably back here. Definitely back here. So you get ninjutsu, ninjutsu uh, the puppeteer skill, when you kill the folding screen monkey. So if you had that, you could have done it. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if you could have done it this early. You have to kill Genichiro, I guess, to get the to be able to kill the folding screen monkeys. Uh, otherwise, you go there and there's nothing there. Okay. Sneak up on this guy. We've only done it. He's gonna fly this kite for us. And the goal, I think, is to get... up on that big tree there, and then grapple over to... maybe that hole there. Wonderful. I don't think we can fast travel. Uh, what do they call it? In, uh, just travel, I guess, in this game. Does Bro have anything? <laughs> the puppeteer technique, huh? First time I've seen it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. <laughs> Thought I'd finally see you crack a smile. And with that, 
I can attend to my personal matters. Thanks, pal. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I had some more to say there, but uh, nothing. I mean, same. Just a change up in the dialogue, real quick. Uh, so I guess we have to probably climb all the way back up here. Oh, I know where the other thing was. I found out how to get the white pin pinwheel. Uh, and there might have been something else up there, too, now that I think about it. Maybe a prayer bead? You'll probably get away with just skipping all these guys. We're careful. We're totally being careful. Uh, that was one of the other things I figured out. I went straight to the, the Senpu... Uh, temple, rather than up this way. Uh, rather than do what I did uh, this playthrough, I explored a lot of this area a little bit more. Pretty much two shot every boss uh, up to Genichiro. And Genichiro still gave me a little bit of trouble. It was like five or six, maybe even seven attempts. If I'm being honest. Free XP, really. Not much, so. Okay. Pretty strong at this point. Um, these guys are coming for me? I don't think so. Uh, I don't have rice to give her, so. She doesn't know about Serpent. I think it's this tree here. Uh, which we did climb at some point. We were trying to reset aggro. Uh, the first time we came through here. But yeah, there's the kite. You can actually just grab it from here. Wonderful. Snap seed. I do know where the other one's at, or at least I, I read where the other serpent's at. Drop down there. Right, too. Hmm. Right? Look like the only way down. A bit laggy there. Oh. Oh, we're well, well short. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, th I think I kind of get it. No, I guess we have to probably swing to the ledge. We got we got tries here. We do that too, I guess. There was some stuff over there though I kinda wanna get. If possible. Some snakeskin. And we uh, I guess we have to climb all the way back up if we're gonna do that. We can take a look. There was an item up there. Well, well. If it isn't old Chuckles. You know me, old you Chuckles. Care of your business? That I did. All thanks to you. Whose grave is this? This? <laughs> it's, uh. It belongs to my kid. I see. After the little run passed away, all the grunt work I used to do just didn't cut it. Experiments with rejuvenation, kidnapping, responsibilities of a black hat, everything to do with this temple was just rubbing me the wrong way. So that's why you quit. <sighs> that's right. Anyway, that about wraps things up here for me. Guess I've got nothing else to do but head back to Austin and Castle. Be a damn sight better than this place. Well, that takes care of my business here. I owe you one. I guess it's about time I headed back to Ashina Castle. Oh, by the way, you probably figured already, but Ashina, you know, 
She reeks of charred corpses and gunpowder, something fierce. The rats are flooding in like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. You watch yourself out there. Not super helpful, but... Well, oh, you watch the rat. Hmm. You what? Yeah. Maybe we were supposed to do this before uh, Al took over? Tried to take over? Nah, we don't really need to rest. I don't think. Anyway. Want a spirit. Down this way. Nothing. Actually, nothing. I'm short. <laughs> Not quite the epic moment I was looking for there. There we go. We're back in uh, Fresh Serpent Viscera. The persimmon-like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is considered to be the god of the land, and the heart is believed to be where one spirit resides. While its shape bears similarity to a persimmon, in fact, this is a red viscera of a god. It is safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one's health. I mean, I was going to say that. That I was not trying to do. Might be okay though. Uh, where is this? This takes us. Actually, might kind of be in the, the right area here. I think we are, but... What a bad way to die there. And now we might as well rest, right? I think we're supposed to go Sunken Valley. We were heading up to that. I think we want to go here. I mean, after we do this, we're pretty much free to go on to the Divine Realm. So we're really close. Oh, we do have a couple things we have to do before we can do that, but... Ah, fruits of the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh, the other is dried. Over there. The dried fruit is over there. Past the poison swamp. Down the nest. That's where you'll find it. What are you talking about? Dried fruit? Eh? Nothing troubling you. Rice for me. That's the way. Rice, I say. If something's not right. Not rice. Me with rice anytime. You know, we haven't. Have rice. We'll go get some divine rice for her. We don't have to do this, but I just kind of want to see what. Uh, what happens here? Just curious. Shinobi of the Divine Air, I see you have obtained one persimmon of the serpent. They say there is a great serpent nest at the bottom of the sunken valley. Perhaps that is where you will find the remaining persimmon. Perhaps. Shinobi of the Divine Air. This time the Rath. We'll give him the uh, persimmon. Rice, please come again. Uh, when we get the next one here. So you will take your leave, please. I shall take my leave. Uh, we're gonna go down here. We did get an achievement for killing the uh, the big serpent there. 
Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get one for killing this one though. Wow. No doubt, this is the divine child's rice. Oh, thank heavens, thank heavens. Tell me what you see. Mm. That's not how you eat rice. Stride fruit you're after. Oh, become a trainer of monkeys. Make the monkey dance. And he'll be eaten. We did a good thing today, I think. If it's dried fruit you're after, become a trainer of monkeys. Make the monkey dance, and he'll be eaten. Make a monkey dance? What does it mean? Does it mean? I know what I mean. And you guys will see shortly if you don't already know. Uh, if I can figure out how to get back out of here. Can I? Yeah, maybe we have to go down. Oh! Okay, that's fine. I don't think we actually... Did we come down through here? We definitely didn't. Um, we came up through the top. So this kind of makes sense why we didn't uh, we didn't find this place. That's not bad. We could use one of those uh, light poisons. I think we're fine, though. Well, we'll see. So it's the same thing. We do the puppeteer stuff, and you guys will see shortly. Very, very shortly. Just uh, my bro now. And then I'll take it. Another merchant. We don't really have any gold. Another where you find the departed. You You'll find the memorial bomb. Places where people simply drift along. <laughs> Go ahead. Gunpowder, heavy coin, coin purse, greasy moss gourd, curved mossy gourd filled with medicinal waters. Refill, refills upon rest. While it does not heal poison status, it reduces poison buildup and increases poison resistance. The square was made out of necessity by those that made poisonous lands their home. It's said if you live there long enough, eventually poison won't affect you after all. Oh, affect you at all. Did you kind of want to buy that just for um, the sake of having it? Let's see if we can make that happen. I'll sell some items here. We still have the sweet ball of rice. How is that possible? I don't think we want to sell that. I think we can sell this stuff though. Uh, cause we have the, the heads, right? I mean, we could still probably use it in case we run into spirit emblems, but I think it's probably fine. Sure. 1800, come on. What does this actually do? Oh, to farm spirit emblems. Okay, we don't really necessarily need that, I guess. More resurrective power. That's probably really good, but.
I want that, so uh, we've got that now. I'll probably never use it, but... I believe... Looks like the cave we're looking for. Before we go down there... More to explore over there. We'll, we will check that out afterwards. Okay. Hide in here. Not expecting the wall to attack me. I mean, I'm assuming this is the right place, and might not be. It's gotta be, though. I'd love to level up here before we die. That'd be great. We're in the right spot. I don't know if that's one one wall person that we have to kill. What's happening here with the camera? Oh boy. It is one wall person. Ow. That hurt real bad. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of this, but... Uh, nope, just kidding, there's two. That's pretty good XP, and we leveled up off of it, so... Can't really complain about it too much. How am I supposed to get over this? Just jump? That's where I went down. Where we went up. I can see a ledge over there. We're definitely supposed to make this jump, right? I have a feeling if we touch this guy, we're probably gonna die. Oh. A little house over here. I can hear the monkey. I don't see it though. I don't see how we get over there either, to be honest. If he is in fact over there. The monkey above us? No, he's this way. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter if we die. We got a uh, level. That was a little risky, but... Uh, it's bait, pretty much. And we've done it. I don't know if the snake uh, gets out of our face here. Probably not. It's probably end of the road.
I don't see a health bar. Uh, let's... Let's idle out, I guess. I think we got most of the stuff that was in there. Last community idle, do we want to do that? Maybe we do. I don't know where this is going to take us. I do want to explore the rest of that poison pool, though. Because there could be a, a, a Purby down here. Actually. Yeah, it's all the way back here. That's fine. And we might as well rest, because there was nothing scary down here. So that's all we needed. Good. I see there would be an option to go back up if you want to. I did see some items down there, so... I didn't take any damage there, it's incredible. Uh, is that a chest too? It kind of looks like it. Ah, this is fine. Very sneaky. Not too bad. Yellow gunpowder. Did I see a chest? I might have just imagined it. All right. Maybe not necessarily worth the trip, but it's good to get the uh, the place kind of mapped out for future future playthroughs and just uh, say we saw everything, I guess. Balloon of Saul. I get the feeling that maybe we missed some stuff up here. There was something else I found in the uh, the playthrough when I was, or my other playthrough, and it was like a bulging coin purse, which isn't really that big of a deal, but I know we didn't get it on this playthrough. I'm starting to kind of remember what we had seen and what we didn't see. I could easily see how we missed stuff up here, kind of rush through this area. Or maybe nothing at all. Give it a quick once over here and then uh, finish up Kuru. Mr. Kuru. Help. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just. Alright. Can we just go up? There was items up there. Okay. In my mind, I'm just going to say it was probably nothing. And we will uh, leave that for another time in a, in a different playthrough. We do have five levels here. Probably get a skill. I haven't really been using the skills that much. I think we can use the, the Mortal Blade now, too. I just don't know how to use it. Check that out real quick as well. Out of rush, that's what we've been using, right?
A sheath stance draws the blade at high speed, cause spirit elements to use. Hold the stance to intercept at will. A secret technique of the Ashina style devoted to the mastery of a swift kill. Draws a cruciform cut in the blink of an eye, so fast it could sever the arm of Shura. So boasts the Shin Ashina. Temple art. Okay, so it's an elbow and an arm strike. We've had that used on us before. It's kind of annoying, actually. Although if we unlock this... And work towards this. Oh, this is how you use the sword, the mortal drill. Sure. We have to get... Oh, uh, we have to unlock this. I see. We don't have the information for this. That's strange. If we did, we could get Shadowfall. Maybe that's something I'll look into before next episode, is figuring out how to unlock this. Because I do want to... Before I beat the game, not because I want to make the game easier. I want to have all this stuff unlocked, just to have it unlocked. But I don't know if we'll, we'll mess with that on, uh, on the YouTubes. Though we might be pushing the point of no return here. Momentarily. Inner Sanctum, let's do it. We should be alright. Be the end of the world. Shinobi of the Divine Air, have you acquired both persimmons of the serpent? Yes, I've found them. The shade of red, it is as I expected. A persimmon is an apt comparison. You're actually going to eat them? Of course. Doing so will allow me to become a cradle to return the dragon's heritage to its home. However, I hesitate to eat them in front of you. Please come back after some time. I think that's going to work, just to rest. Is this going to end or <laughs> have to end next? Uh, can we eat strap again? No, it's the same thing. Okay. That's why I'm arresting. That's why I did that. Maybe we have to actually leave, uh, leave there. We're, we've pretty much secured the uh, Dragon's Homecoming ending now. I don't think we can... Well, unless we make a mistake at the end, but... Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the Fountainhead inset now. Uh, have a gourd seed? I don't think I'm we do. Glad. Goodbye. Wishful thinking. Uh, back to the Inner Sanctum. Hopefully she's done eating the snake hearts. You have to listen to it twice? I mean, I could check, but we'll check if this doesn't work. Rest again. Okay. We're checking, guys. Well, if the game doesn't freeze up on us there. Um...
Then rest the adult again. When the door is open again, talk to the child of rejuvenation. Hmm. Well, the doors are not opening. Uh, we could go try to explore somewhere else. Actually, we could go back to... Duncan Valley Cab. We could go try to get the white pinwell just for something to do while hopefully she uh, finishes eating the hearts. Uh, just to show you guys where it's at, if you guys didn't, uh, those of you watching haven't already gotten this. Uh, I can't remember. There might have been something else interesting up there too. May have already screwed it up, actually. Hi. Looks like I did. Yeah, I think I did. That's where the red one's at, a red and white one. Do I remember how I did that? To think about it. I kind of remember what the area looked like, or what I had to... Was it? Oh, that's where we just came up. Um... Oh, there it is. I see it. Actually, doesn't make sense how we get over there, though. And looking at it a little bit longer. Oh, uh, maybe we have to get through the tunnel here. Not going well. Uh, it's, it is really too late to do anything about this. Like, we can't. Can't change where that guy was sent to, but. No, it is not this way. So you get up. Alright, guy. Sakura. <laughs> Oh, he didn't die. That's, that's the plus, plus side. I'm about to see the area. Did you just have to make a jump? Was that what it was? I don't think there was anything besides this up here, but... Good time to check, I guess. I did actually have a real hard time getting down from here uh, when I came through on uh, the second playthrough. Five of these? Not really the best, is it? I think you want to use that before you get poison. So there's the white pinwheel. And was there anything else up here? Maybe this is where the the, bul the bulging coin purse was. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. This comes in through here. Monkey booze. Yeah, I remember we got to this area and we were like, well, how do you get in here? You have to get in through this side. I you have to go that way. That was one of the things. I should have been writing stuff down as I went through. This takes us, uh... To the bell. Okay. Yep. Door. Good. And nothing follows. So I think there was one more thing I found. I can't remember what it was though. Uh, anyway, we'll we'll go back to the. <laughs> we'll go back to the. Uh, out of the divine water and uh by the fastest way and hopefully she's done eating i need to actually have the uh episode timer up here i don't know it's in a good uh, a good spot to pick a screenshot here for the thumbnail So kind of a waste doing that, but still eating that hard, huh? Might be a moment to uh, search Reddit to figure out why maybe dying would fix it. I mean, we can afford to die, really. Person always there. The fresh and dried fruits. Did she eat them? Yes. Oh, then all is well. Divine children, may you be safe on your long journey. Over there. Ah, uh, maybe that that triggered it. Could it could have died for good measure, I guess. No. Do you have to go talk to all the divine? Or the, uh... I guess they call them old hags. She's dead. Well, we could check with the other one and then kill ourselves over there, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't work well to take to the internet, so... Hopefully it's not bugged out. One here. Uh, and she was right there. It's the same woman. The other one was... I feel like she should have been right outside of here, but I don't think she was. Or I think about it. Oh, uh, she was, um... This is probably the fastest way to get to her. She's past this building here. The first one. What's happening? Not have to kill any of this stuff. We can just... Back, we could probably just run. What are you guys going to do? Nothing? Okay. 
And she was right outside here. So that was her that died. Okay. Probably the fastest way. If this doesn't work, we'll, uh, I, th I thought I remember reading something about it not working for somebody. Uh, cause like I said, I, I haven't looked up a whole lot about this game, but I did, I did look up how to do this. I got a little greedy. I was looking at the achievement list and saw, uh, the unlisted ones. And I was like, well, better try to do a good ending here. Uh, we want to go back to your sanctum. Oh, we can't get a picture of the snake. We kind of felt... Okay. Let's take a look here. Hopefully that doesn't bug out. Uh, out of the Divine Water bug. Before you kill the Divine Dragon. Okay, we have not done that. Divine Child Questline Bug. Still eating um, snake parts. Yeah, we did that. Travel, okay. Presented, okay. Rest as many times as necessary until the vine child eventually. Okay. So maybe we just have to do it more. Keep resting. Seems a bit silly, but. I don't think this is going to work. I'm doing something completely stupid here. Uh, it's going to feel bad, but... And present her the two fruit items. Rest at the closest idol as many times as necessary until the divine child... The only other thing I can think of doing here is maybe starting this up. But I feel like that's asking for a, that's asking for a fail. And we did so much work for this, I don't wanna Don't leave the temple. Only okay. You need to put all the ingredients in the incense thing. Okay. Okay, so we were actually on the right track. We need to do what exactly what we were about to do. I'm glad I double checked though. Uh okay. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. <laughs> too, too sensitive for you. It's over now, Wolf. How was the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this... Ah, oh, maybe it's not a bad spot. It's the fountainhead incense. It's so... Extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, 
Do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering. That was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. Wolf, I need you to bring Dragon Tears from the Divine Realm. Yes. You must first go to the depths of the cave where you found the fragrant stone. You now carry the scent of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you, if you enter the shrine within the cave. As you wish. Okay, so that's our next mission. Uh, but first... Reddit is not wrong. They're never wrong. Inner Sanctum should be uh, open. Should be ready for the Frozen Tier. Wonderful. No. Oh, Shinobi of the Divine Air? Are you know there? there? Your, your eyes. Oh, you have returned, Shinobi of the Divine Air. It appears I have succeeded in becoming the Cradle. Could you please take my hand? Yes. What? It is cold, much like an ice house, which is why. See? My tears. They freeze as they flow down my face. These frozen tears. Take them. Frozen tears? Does this mean... Yes. I believe this is what the text referred to as cold dragon tears. The divine air must drink them together with the dragon tears of the divine realm. If he does so, I believe Lord Kuro will be able to rest within the cradle. See if she's actually crying her. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ibber. Uh, okay, so we got the frozen tears. So now we need to go... Where was it at? Pumpkin Valley? Ashna Depths? Yeah. Wedding cave door. That's probably the best place to go. Uh, I'm thinking that we go back into that house there and try to... harass the guy that uh, was drinking all the water. Or uh, sake. One of the two. I'm not really sure what's happening there. Well, thank you. Oh, I know the other thing. Uh, Kill told me uh, you can actually trade in the um, the carp scales too. Um, yeah, let's go check that out. Actually, after this, or go to Fountainhead. Okay, same stuff as usual. There's got to be more to this guy. Okay. Yeah, even though we're right at the end to go into the Divine Realm, I think we go, uh... Go see if we can turn some of these carp scales here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I know where that area is at. By playing through it the second time, I saw... I remember it the first time, now. Uh, you could go underwater there, and we couldn't, uh... We saw items there, but we couldn't actually... Uh, get down there. I just forgot about it. I'm sure I'm think I'm forgetting something else too here. Uh. Whoa. Oh, that's where I found the other item. It was over here. Oh, 
what's happening here? You're the That's right. Uh, yeah. We We've done that before. I don't know. This is where the other item was that I found. I don't think... I don't think we got it the first time we came through. We'll see if it's there. Treasure curb scale, okay. Not the the thing I was thinking of. Uh, still good to find that, though. Oh, invisible walls. Come on, from software. No bueno. I thought a shirt can I have? And not throw a shuriken underwater, or not? I have no idea what we're going to be able to buy with these uh, treasure curb scales, but they've been making us collect them the whole game. So, uh, well, not making us, but you guys know what I mean. That's a pretty big area here. What happened there? Well, we definitely want to try to find these other two, I think, if... Uh, we're about to go meet the vendor to... They use this stuff, right? I saw the items. Yes, I thought I did, like over here. Somebody said maybe, maybe, maybe. Was that, uh... Is that what we were looking for? Here we go. Red gourd. Curved withered red gourd filled with medicinal water. The gourd's medicine refills upon rest. Medicinal water reduces burn buildup and slightly increases burn resistance. Now I heal the burn stats at really. Okay, so it's like the poison one, but. Mass fragment, okay. Uh, can we get everything? Can. I don't think we want to get the divine grass. But... Companion on the combat art, floating passage. Skill unlocked upon acquiring this item. Unleash attacks in a flowing dance-like form. Overwhelming enemies in a furor of graceful aggression. This technique belongs to the Ashina Sword School, though it has been deemed heretical due to its foreign origin. Some of that. Uh, I think we stay off the Divine Grass. Listen, I want to become... Kind of like the mimic. Uh, let's see, can I talk to this guy and get the... Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to do, but let's see if I can pull it off. There's the button. Bring me some skills next time. Maybe I got that screenshot. 
Uh, actually, I can check here. We're we're really button up at the against the uh, end of the episode here. Uh, do I not have Gimp open? Unbelievable. What's the matter with me? Rookie mistakes. Uh, there's also another pool we can check out real quick. I think we'll do that before we end the episode as well. And then next episode we'll head into the Fountain Palace and. Oh yeah, it turned out okay. Actually, it turned out just fine. To be honest with you guys, I could do like a like a two-hour episode here. I just want to keep playing it, but I don't. I don't think we will. I was trying to get away from doing that. Turn this back on. Uh, the longer episodes for. Uh, just to trim down some of the content. Although we did a four-hour Among Us playthrough uh, yesterday. Oh, this is where I found the other item, too. We'll grab this, too. Yes. Slowly turn it into an hour and a half episode of uh, Sekiro. I think this was the last thing that I found that uh, I didn't have before. Uh, it wasn't this, but... Check and make sure I got that. We can get away with just not attacking anything. Except for that. Uh, did I go on the wrong side? No. Probably carps down here, maybe. Maybe not, too. Definitely piranhas. I'm actually kind of surprised if there's nothing down here. Huh. Actually, really surprised about that. Here's where the other item was. We didn't, uh... We kind of backed away from these two enemies over here, if I recall, because they were... They're kind of difficult. You have to do a Makiri counter on them. That area's still even open? Uh, it is this way, right? Alright, it should have been, uh... There should have been a clearing here. Like right here. Actually, ultra confused about why... Oh, is it here? It's here. Okay. Sure, we're not gonna die to these guys, right? Please let me kill the fire guy. Oh, come on. And okay, now you're in trouble. Much easier when you get attack power. Yeah. That, yeah, there's the bulging coin purse. Okay. There was one item in here I couldn't actually figure out how to get to. Let's see if we can do that real quick. We really are pushing the episode here. 
time wise. Uh, yeah, this one right here. I get you. I'm familiar with that building there. Oh, can I crouch? Oh, I can just crouch. Look at this. Oh, and that's okay. Nice. Excellent. Let's uh, homeward idle home. And then that, guys, is going to do it for this episode of Sekiro. As usual, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. You can see the new schedule over here on the left. That's uh, Sundays is going to be the VOD from Saturday's stream over on Zarlin TV. Monday through Fridays is Sekiro at uh, 12.15. Approximately an hour long. Saturday is The Void, uh, which is the VOD from uh, Twitch. We're currently playing Final Fantasy VII Hard Mode Remake. Uh, it says 10 a.m. It's supposed to be 12.15. I don't know why it says 10 a.m. Uh, but anyway, uh, that takes over to twitch.tv slash TV. Change the name from F13 to... F13 underscore gaming to Zarlin TV because uh, underscores are annoying. So, yeah. So that's Friday and Saturday nights. We play... Uh, well, Friday night we play Final Fantasy VII Remake until that's done. And then I'm going to play some WoW and then maybe some uh, Assassin's Creed when that comes out. Saturday we play a random game. Usually a community-focused game is what we're trying to do to get more uh, interaction with, with people just so we can play. And with each other, too. We've been playing single-player games. So it's nice to be able to play with each other. That's Friday and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern with Zarlin over on twitch.tv slash uh, Zarlin TV. So head over there, give us a follow, coming out, play games with us Friday and Saturday night. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Till then, uh, till next time, take care of yourselves. See you then. See you guys.